Hey guys, I got a quick video on uh, decommissioning or putting a Cisco switch to its uh, manufacturer default configuration. In this topology, we're going to be working on uh, switch 8 all the way in here. And we have um, interface F2 on the switch 8 and interface F2 on the other switch as well. So let's go on and uh, click and take a look at the configuration and see what's happening. Oops, it's clear we have VLAN there. So let's go on and do a few verification steps. So let's go and take a look at interface trunk. See if we have any trunk. It's clear we have a trunk port between the F2s. And uh, all of these VLANs are allowed, etc, etc, as we see it right there. So it's clear it's a trunk port, so we, we should be mindful. Let's go and take a look at show VLAN. Yes, we have a bunch of emails, VLANs, uh, VLAN Cisco, VLAN DHCP, etc, etc. So it's a trunk and it has VLANs. But anyways, let's go and take a look at show interface. FA0 slash 2. Uh, switch port. Switch port and that way, yes, it is trunk and it is dynamic auto. Anyways, as we see it in encapsulation, etc, etc. It's a trunk port. It is... Um, it has VLANs, etc, etc. So anyways, show run, just take last. Not much information here. Well, we're going to try two different methods. First method should work, but if it doesn't, then we're going to try the troubleshooting step and go, going forward. So let's go on and say delete. Flush. VLAN dot that yes okay erase startup erase startup config yes and we we could say write erase as well same thing it will delete all the configuration let's go and reload reload the, this should do the trick if it doesn't then we're going to take the next troubleshooting step and see what could be the cause and how could we overcome this let's go on and say reload if you see the vlans and if you see everything is still there or some of them have changed then that means we need to do a little bit of uh, further configuration but if we have physically disconnected the switch and do the this trick we should take care of everything so let's go and say show vlan I see there's oops, the VLANs are still there, Cisco VLAN, HR VLAN, etc. etc. So it means yes, it did erase the configuration, but it did not get rid of the VLAN database because um, these two ports are still still uh, in trunk. And uh, okay. The way to resolve this would be let's go to the switch. Let's go to the switch. Uh, Switch zero. Let's go on and say exit interface FA zero zero slash two shut exit exit. We are right now sitting on uh, this switch. This switch is right now this guy, and we went there and we shut down this interface F two. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to our the one to decommission switch. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go on and do the same procedure as we did previously. So we're just gonna go and say write erase it will erase anything everything and then we're gonna say delete flush VLAN that yes yes reload Let's go and take a look and see what happens now. This should do the trick. So this is the troubleshooting part in case the first step doesn't work for you. So let's wait and yep, it looks good. Show VLAN. The VLANs are gone. We have no more VLANs. So the VLANs are clear. Taking a look. Nope, no VLAN, no VLAN, except the default ones. Those are 
those are uh, never used just they're just sitting there but anyways it is clear this has been decommissioned we are good to go thank you for watching please subscribe to my to my channel and um, comment feel free to tell me what else would you would you do instead thanks have a good day